day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Everybody, I hope you enjoy part A and I hope you enjoy part B. Well, we, we, we this part of the second, we get more deep into Samuel uh, chapter 8, 1 Samuel chapter 8. And, and you know, I, 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 I can, you'll see these scriptures in the uh, study, but I just wanted to, to try to give you a little flavor of it. We'll start verse 1. And, and it talked about the fact is that Samuel, which was one of the judges, because after they went into the church, into the the, the uh, promised land, God appointed judges over the children of Israel. And these judges were people who were operating under God's direction and to be able to give the, the, the uh, proper judgment when there were disputes that couldn't be resolved among the people and Samuel was getting old and therefore he was appointed his children to be judges and they became perverted they started to do things that there was immoral and, and not uh, decent and said for the children of Israel said we had enough of this we want to get and have our own king we want to have a king just like everybody else we don't want judges we don't want we don't want people that they can they, these guys are these guys are corrupted. Now Samuel, they, I feel like everybody was to the Samuel way. He's a different story. But these these children of Samuel, which is a tragedy in itself, uh, no no kitty was raised up following and observing the man of God. Uh, chose a different path instead of walking spiritually, they, they started walking carnally. And, and the children of Israel uh, said, that we, we don't want this. So verse 6 even says that. But the thing that's being said, no, verse uh, what, what, 5, it says, 1 Samuel 8, verse 5, and said unto him, Behold, thou old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. See, he said to walk in the way of God. Santa walking away with Christ. Now, because, and that's something for all preachers to sit there and understand, when we, when we have been ordained to preach the gospel, and one of the things is to minister to those who come to our ministry, to equip them to do the work of the ministry, and we fail to do that, and start falling in the ways of the world. This is what people end up doing. They said, they'll make us a king to judge us like all the nations. Since you're not gonna walk, since your judges not going God's way, then we all gonna go back to the world's way. And that's basically what you have there. And he said in verse six, but these things displeased Samuel when they said, give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. We talk about the fact is that I like what Samuel, that's the difference between his sons and him. He sought the Lord. And you know, the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God. Huh? Uh, first, when you're dealing with things, because that's where he'll come in and give you the, the instruction. That's what we need to do in our life. See, God is king over all of us individually. And that's how we need to sit there and operate is understanding that God is your key, not people. Not, and, and, and you know, I see people sit there and make decisions on, on people's careers and, 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 and picking people based on loyalty to them. And, and, and those people giving themselves to their allegiance to somebody who gave them favors or positioning. And the thing about it is what profits the world? What profits you to gain the whole world and lose your own soul? That's what we talked about. And that's that's what part C was getting into. And, and I, I really hope that you take time to listen and chew in on it because I thought I think it's we, we need to understand what's the kingdom's about. It's about loving and serving one another. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next video.
part D. Amen. And uh, we're getting more into the scriptures. Amen. All right. So I hope uh, you enjoyed and we'll catch you next time. All right. God bless. Bye bye. So that that is 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 a sad thing, you right. know. Uh, but Monday morning quarterbacking is a is an easy thing to do, it you is. know. Uh, but there are games times we can look at a situation or circumstance, and we can immediately, you know, looking from the outside in, have every scenario. You know, uh, 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 covered because yeah. we're looking at we look we see the results of what that person went through, but then we apply what we think we're going to work, and that, that may not work unless it's something that you got from right. God. Right. It so it's it's truly amazing how this world has just completely flipped upside down outside of God yes, and the yes, sad sir. thing is sitting on its side inside yes yes and what I mean by that inside the church is sideways oh, yeah. you know because we're not teaching no, we're this not. power and this authority that each individual has no you know the church has adopted this civilization manner yes the world. of authority yeah. and structure and yeah. pretty much moved outside of God's authority and structure. So <laughs> it's easy to come before a person, before a people every Sunday with a message that you do not have to tarry, I mean, go before God and get. If you don't get anything from God, don't give anything. Come preach, on, man. Man. It's just that, that simple. Don't give don't give pastors information because pastors information is not going to line up with God. It can't. Come on now. Come on. Come on. So, so the thing is, if you're not, I mean, and, and, and the other thing is, even if you don't, you have his word. Yes. Right. And, and his word says that they are to teach and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Now, anything in and outside of that is not lining up with God's will. Come on, brother. So if you're talking about, you know, uh, numbers, I mean, he already spoke. You know, the, the, the field is is ripe and ready for harvest. Don't talk about them out there. Teach how to go harvest. Come on now. Teach the gospel. Yes. If finances is, is, is your thing, don't be unequally yoked and just talk about getting finances. Come Have on. faith in God, in God's system. Come on. You know, and then things will work. You don't have to <laughs> make up something. You no. know, uh, God told me that 10 people are supposed to give a $1,000 gift. And then after an hour later, you're talking about, well, $1. If God said $1,000 yes. and you don't get them 10 people, God didn't say that. He didn't say it. Come on. Hey, as a matter of fact, you just, you just, if you, if you didn't catch something, you just said that, that what the theme we were talking about is that scripture the elder would have said you cannot serve God and, and mammon. mammon. And mammon. Right. Yeah. The point is that in the world system, we're serving other things. Oh, yeah. And we it's... don't even serve, teach to serve one another. He that is greater, then that scripture said, he that wants to be greater than everybody else must be the servant of everybody of everybody else right. meaning Amen. Sir, Amen. he is the server yes. the world system is you serve the greatest yeah where god says no the greatest serves you yeah huh you see, what's 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 amazing pastor is you have these people Ooh. who actually 
go after that dollar, so yeah. to say. Yeah. And and wealth. Yeah. And they do it to get privilege. Come on. Status. Power. Uh -huh. Power. Yes, sir. And once they get all that, there's folks still killing themselves. Come on now. There's no peace. There's no <laughs> happiness. Nope. In the love of that and that only. I mean, we have, uh, and I know you probably won't edit this out. Our president is a prime example yeah. of somebody who has been given wealth, privilege, and authority. And now he's in a position of leadership. And so he has power. And he's still not happy. Well, and then, and he needs praise on top of all that to actually feel something. And even then, it's not enough because it's a continual desire for him he, to the point to where the people he wants it from, he puts their lives in danger. Well, and, and, and he puts a whole country yes. in peril for self satisfaction well you know yep. what you know the thing i like i like what you just said I like what you, I like what you said and I, even because we live too and 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 i'm telling people it's really not about the individual but i do want to say this though what you just said god though is giving us a oh, yes, a, a, a chance to view this this you know, we somebody said they did the president of the of the United States. I ain't talking about one particular person. Let's talk about prior to him and everybody else that said the most powerful. You ever heard that word before? The most powerful person in the world is has been said notified as being the, the, the president of the United States. Right? Yep. Right? Yep. And 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 all the others have some way in the past have shown this subordination of for the people, right? right. Doing for the people, trying to have some kind of value. You mm -hmm. agree that, and, and we got a history of all that. But God has given, given us a chance to see, forget the name, because I, I, I forget the politics, I ain't in the politics, but it's what you're saying though is that the, the, what what scripture said the eyes are never satisfied? Is that is that a scripture that Elder? Yeah. It's, it's 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 like you said, brother Addison. They're not satisfied, and God is giving you opportunity to see that that no matter what you do, no matter what position you place yourself, you're never satisfied if your if the world is your source of power. It's not, it's not able to. It's, it's, not, there. it's not able to do it. The only way we're going to really be satisfied is if we receive the one that created us. Yes. You got to have God in you to really have life. Exactly. And that's what uh, I think McCann's kind of focuses on and something I had literally lost sight of at one point. But if you don't have Jesus, you are dead in trespasses and sin. That's true. And I didn't really embrace that, but until you know, I started thinking about that reality of the world without Christ in me, I was animated, but I was still dead because I was cut off from life itself. I didn't even understand the concept of life. I thought right. I did. Right. And, right. In, 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 in you in that state of mind or this, you really will do things that kill you and people that are around you. And so I will be so bold as to say, and I'm hopefully, I know it's live, but when we look at our president, we look at the manifestations of Satan. That man, we look at him. I mean, when we look at the behavior of the young man, he look at the manifestations of the devil. <laughs> he, 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 I will exalt my throne above the most high. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I, 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 I. And he lost sight of the servitude, which means he is willing to and able to and just, and I ain't trying to be funny, man, because we all love before we get saved. And that's what his issue is. He don't know the Lord. It, it, you, he, without taking into consideration the probability of folks getting sick and dying, doing something that's not even necessary, to say that we're in a war time state is to say that every person is a warrior. And to say that they were a warrior means that they already know that their life is on the line, but their life is not being put on the line for freedom or for human rights 
their life has been put on the line for money, which means we have exalted the value of mammon above the value of a human soul. So, and it's manifesting, it's making sense. Yeah. You have a tribute a value to a human soul. I mean, a monetary value to a human soul. That's why slavery was able to, we were able to initiate that. Because the people's lives, them being human souls, wasn't the issue. The, the fight was, we're going to make money off these folks. <laughs> so we can take their lives and ruin them. <laughs> but, you, but you also notice that when we try to satisfy ourselves with with uh, the power and we need we need accolades and we need we need recognition, we need we need constant stroking and stuff, it 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 it's a, it becomes you become very destructive and try yes. to keep it. You become heartless toward the people that you I mean you could you we, we can talk about the fact is that some people that's why I don't want to use names because I think it ain't only feeds into, I'm gonna just tell you, as, as, even as a live, right? Cause I edit this stuff, some of that for myself. I, but it's, it's the fact is that we always forget about love when we try to be this, this what you call it, this, this selfishness of the yeah. world system. Yeah. I mean, it, everyone that wants to be in a position of leadership and that I know in our government, if they don't have a concept of God, right? then they are the worst, corrupt, selfish uh, person in a position of authority of government than the rest of them. Yeah. Because those who at least know Come on. that there is a God, yeah. there is a sense of humanity. Yes. Yes. When in their decision making, because they can't go yes. to the extreme. Amen. But I'm if not... you think that you, in and of yourself, are it, then your position places you above everything and nothing, nothing has any value nothing. that is beneath you. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's the and you don't have no respect for life. Now you and that's and what you know. and so, that you come with life, Black Lives Matter. Yes. Because when you sit there and try to play the support nation game based on race, <laughs> you don't care about anything that's going to jeopardize your status or your position perceived in this world system. Mm -hmm. we, we joked about it one time. I put that scripture down here too. I want you to see that scripture, Elder. That was like 19 and 20. For okay. our verse 27, 19 and 20, right? It's, it's, mm -hmm. It says, as the water answers to face. As in water? Mm -hmm. As in water. Face? And face? face? As in water, face answers to face. So the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of man are never satisfied. There you go. Never satisfied. Yep. Because <laughs> the, the world system, that's why Jesus could, that's why Jesus, when the devil said, and said I give you all this glory, Jesus already said, that is, that is useless. Yeah. Because it's not satisfying. It'll right. never satisfy the heart of man. When he spoke to the woman at the well, he said, if you drink from this water, you'll never thirst again. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about his spirit. When you feel the Holy Ghost, man, you, Holy Ghost will make everything else something you can observe, you can participate in, but you won't be overwhelmed by it. Right. It's stuff you can experience, but you don't have to have it. You know, you never you have to have it. You know, what's the thing? to God is a positive addiction because you ain't gonna want to be addicted to nothing else. It's it's an awesome thing. It's I, I liken it to you either running off a battery. <laughs> or you're plugged into the source. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. And there is a big difference. Wow. Because when you're running on that battery, there is a drain. Yeah. Yes, but it. when you plug into that wall, there is a constant source of power. Wow. That you you're know, tapped into. And what that's what he said to me is that, that's why he said to be caughtly minded is death. Because death is always draining you. Disconnected. Yes. Being carnally minded, but if you're spiritually minded, you're constantly being fed life. Yes. 
eternal life, life here and, and eternally. Yes. It's, it's, wow. and, that, and that actually happened at, 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 at Calvary. When Jesus Christ paid the sin debt, we reconnected. Yeah. yeah. We had the we have so everything we're not we're not running off the battery no more. Yeah. We plugged into to, to the outlet. We we, we back into the wall socket. And in, that's in, why in. he died in, in a flip flip. And I think sometimes we don't get overjoyed by what happens because we don't really understand the dynamic behind it. When you say in the world system people are gonna die from cancer, okay. All the statistics say, yeah, that's what's going to happen. But when you plug into the source, that stuff, that goes out the window. Come on, brother. Nothing. 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 That's it. it that's nothing. it. Nothing. I know <laughs> like, that. That stuff uh, don't apply to us anymore. I, I'm not going to tell you. Tell you. It's not a joke. The only time I've been told I, I should be dead, I, I, <laughs> you could drop dead any minute. You should have been had a stroke by now. It's like every time they observe it, it's like, wow. You know, why they keep telling me this? And, and then I begin to be understand they were telling the truth. It's just that they didn't know what system I was looking to. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. scary that yeah. was life to my body. You're, 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 you're shot a long time ago. Come on, brother. Amen. That gives life to your body. If you walk in the spirit, you will be rejuvenated. Yeah. You will be You'll rejuvenated. You'll understand. Yeah. You'll understand your source. Yes. And where your help comes from. Yes. And if God didn't say it. As long as you understand that, then you are in this system. Amen, You're just man. not of it. You know, and, and let me tell this testimony. And I, to, I told you guys that uh, when I thought I had a kidney stone and my back was messed up, and when yeah. they did the CT and they didn't see the kidney stone, um, ended up finding out that it was just a. Uh, uh, what they call it, de degraded disc in my back, yeah. you know, uh, which ain't nothing but attack on me. That's the way I look at all this stuff. Amen. They oh, also man. said that they saw a mass in my chest. And I know I told you, Pastor. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And I was like, you know, something's wrong with their machine that because <laughs> God didn't tell me that. And if God brought me through congestive heart failure and then he put all this wisdom and knowledge in me to spread his word why would he allow this to to do something you know to bring my demise i just couldn't fathom that right i'm like i was he why would this i'm like this ain't nothing but a tag i don't it, it really never concerned me Woo. to that point and so they sent me in to get you know a mammogram and another CT and all this other stuff to check it out, and they were like, you know, there's nothing. You know, it was negative and and you know, and I'm like, I'm I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it wasn't. I had already rejoiced a long time ago when I got the 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 revelation that by Jesus stripes, I'm healed, man. I am healed. Yes, sir. And when God speaks to you <laughs> and you get that revelation, woo, it overrides this world yeah. and this world system. Yeah. Hey. So as long as you hold on to that mm. and you don't receive these attacks of the enemy, yes, then sir. you walk through it. Now, I'm not bragging on me. I'm not yeah. saying anything about Myron has, is, has all this faith or anything. But I, in in other words, but I do have the faith because it faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Wow. I have God's word that says, "By Jesus' stripes, I am healed." Come on. So <clears throat> that's the faith that I have. Yes, sir. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt that God Come on. is the head of my life, and I can't fathom. Woo him not protecting me because I can't fathom me not protecting my son. Come on, that's just anything attached. That's at true. him. That's true. So <laughs> my mind is is made up. I'm like, well, look, he's far greater than a father than I am. Come on. <laughs> and if you believe that, then you live that. Yes. I like the oh. fact that you where other was kicking on it. We are servants to our children. Yes. We are servants to our wives. 
those who are servants are well recognized and accepted mm -hmm. because of their servanthood. Teachers, there's good teachers, right? Why does yeah. it make them good teachers? Because they are actually serving mm -hmm. the students and the students can see it. You know what I mean? There, there is something about love that's discernible. Yeah. And nothing changes that. And what I saw was the world system tries to qualify or quantify it. Yes. It tried to, you know, put a value or an explanation or something like that. Well, this is what you do if you care for the student, you should do this, this, and even in the classroom. But if you really care for a student, your mind starts to click in ways that you would never, you can imagine just going through a process. You get really creative when you really care about somebody on how to help them. Yes. You spend, you get energy. You get time, thought can start coming to you, you start serving and stuff. It is not something that's prescribed. It is just inherent. Yeah. When you care, if you care for somebody, you are motivated to do well by them. You want to see them do well, you're gonna, but if, you, if you're not, then you come up with the world system who has all kind of gimmicks and all kind of programs and stuff that's supposed to, you know, mimic caring, but it, it can't because there is no, yeah. without love, system gonna fall apart. Yes. And that's what our, our our national leaders have, no love in their heart for the people that they, they that they rule over. Mr. Trump loves himself. I don't even think he loves himself. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he loves himself. I think, I think I, the guy just don't love himself. <laughs> and that's well, what he I'm, don't understand love. Yeah, he don't understand uh, the concept. And like I think he has he, a form right of, of love, but it's just self satisfaction. It's it's satisfying that flesh. I, I think and, I, but what you just showed that's us all he knows. That flesh is never satisfied. So what but we that's see, my point. That's yeah. my point. It's not that's love. Not it's just it's just uh, satisfying his flesh. Well, well flesh my, is desire. My, my point is, like I said, is because I said leave him alone. Get I'm but my point is this: look at it for how God is using it. Look at oh, what yeah. God is doing. God is showing you something, right? I mean, you see. The, the, the difference between being cardinally yeah. and spiritually. Yeah. You see, you see what love versus hate. Yeah. You see selfishness instead of unselfishness. You, <laughs> you have a world stage for God has given a person, put somebody on a world stage to minister to all of us of what he don't want you to be. Think about it. Oh yeah, this is a great, a great example. It's a great example. It is a great example because yep. you, it, matter of fact, it brought. If y'all think about it, this representation is because that's what it is representing a, a crop of people yep. who think a certain way. You see what I'm saying? Yep. It, it has brought to it brought to tension this country said hey we got a problem mr floyd it was more it was more than it brought to attention to because the attention had been bringing brought to them had been brought to them over and over and over again but this identity yes. that has been fed to them yes of the black man or woman has been a, a misrepresentation yes. of these people. Yes. And so they have a warped <laughs> manner of thinking yes. that we can, they were taught that we can withstand more pain, <laughs> that we are corrupt, <laughs> that we're evil, yeah. that we're 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 uh <laughs> We're thieves, we're thugs. Yeah. And that's what we are. So they see anyone of color. Uh -huh. Then they go to that position of, well, we can't trust them. So when we're telling them what's been going on since we've been here in the United States, right. nothing's changed. You tell them that, you tell them that, you tell them that. And so, so now, there is such a thing called video yes and this video is in everyone's hands yes and so now they see they see from start to finish of what we've been telling them. 
you they know, have a visual that cannot lie about what happened and they also see themselves yes. because they see a white man sitting there on this man's neck with no remorse no sense of value for that person not and 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 just as comfortable and relaxed and at peace with removing the life from another human being Train a they life. see themselves in that position yes yes so it's, you, it's amazing that go ahead it takes that it takes it takes that it takes the death of a person to bring about change which is how it is in the word well don't forget you it, know it's that's the same thing it, it takes the, uh huh remember vietnam the pictures when yeah when america started seeing the pictures in vietnam yes that's when america started saying oh we we got to go yeah we, we don't need to be there we, this is this is not where we need to be yeah right i mean we fighting we fighting a country of people <laughs> who are using our leftovers you know they so poor they use what what do, the the unexploded ordinances wood spikes you know with 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 feces and stuff <laughs> on them and traps and, yeah. and and just everything to try and fight back and they're seeing the massacre of these folks yes yes you know the uh, so it makes a change you